Now, the next verse is just as important. And, do, and after you're translated, the Romans 12, 2 says this, and do not be conformed. God's not looking for conformity. This is one of the high-sounding nonsenses of today. This is that philosophy that's killing the church. There's a lot of people in the church today that think God's called us to conformity. He did not call us to conformity. He said, be ye a separate people. Come out from among them. Didn't call us to conform. He called us to be transformed. But more importantly than us being transformed, he wanted us to transform the world around us. But be ye transformed. How do you do it? By the renewing of your mind. You open that valve. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Just recap just quickly. Your spirit's perfect. Your body, your mind is not. The only way to get your body and your mind lined up with what's perfect is to renew your mind, open that valve, let your mind get in accordance and in sync with what God's done. I was doing it this morning right there while I was praying. I was praying something, and then the Holy Spirit reminded me, that's nonsense, quit saying that. I think I was asking him to anoint me or something goofy like that. What do you mean, goofy? Shouldn't you be anointed? I am. I don't think that was it. That's just a good example. Or, you know, God heal me. He did. You say, well, what do I say then? It's real easy. I receive what you have done, Lord. By his stripes, you were healed. Not just physically, emotionally, anything else. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The soul is your mind, your spirit, will, and emotions. Your spirit's perfect. You need to renew it so it'll be, your, your mind will renew, and I haven't said this, and you need to get this. When this and this come together in unity, this here will get straightened out. Whatever, when your spirit and your mind is two-thirds majority, you win. Two-thirds majority. You believe in your mind what he done in the spirit, you can't help but win. You're going somewhere waiting for favor to hit you. Life lesson is this. We've been translated. We spend the rest of our lives being transformed. 